Today we are here at Jungle Cat World Wildlife Park with Adrian, and we're gonna meet some animals up close and personal today. Tell us all about Jungle Cat World. Uh, Jungle Cat World's a wildlife park. We're just 45 minutes east of Toronto. Obviously with the name, our main focus is the, the cats, but we have a wide variety of animals here. And our uh, goal is to give people an up-close look, as well as a uh, window into the lives of the animals, how we take care of them, what we're doing with like enrichment and whatnot. So uh, yeah, it's just a really nice place to come out with your family and uh, get a chance to meet some of these amazing creatures. Can you tell us a little bit about the history here and how Jungle Cat World began? Oh, I'd love to. Uh, Jungle Cat World uh, was started by Wolfram and Krista Close. Uh, they came over from Germany. They started off with the dog training business and then as they expanded, they were in communication with zoos in the area. They'd be selling dogs and that. So one day they ended up a dog for a lion, like a long time ago now, but then it all stemmed from there. They needed, where are we gonna keep this lion? They had to build an enclosure and then they needed someone else for the lion. So then they got a female and then uh, a tiger at the same time. So at the end, that's uh, essentially how the zoo started. The couple's amazing. They never take a day off, so it's kind of good to see that the leaders here are working so hard and then it kind of flows down to our keeper staff as well. We are here with Ashley who is going to be taking us around to meet some of the most amazing animals. What kind of animal interactions are we having today? So today we're actually going to be seeing one of our tortoises, the third largest tortoise species in the world. We're going to be seeing our ring-tailed lemurs, which are actually one of our most uh, interactive animals that we have here. We're also going to be feeding a tiger. Feeding a tiger, that sounds really crazy, but I'm super excited about that. I love how you're caring for the animals and it is a small family business. And you mentioned the bed and breakfast. What kind of cool experiences can happen when you stay at a bed and breakfast? At a normal bed and breakfast, it's just a bed and breakfast. I don't think that's too exciting. So here, you're coming in, uh, you're getting farm fresh eggs from the property. Everything's stocked in the fridge for you guys. You get a nice balcony overlooking the zoo. And the highlight, even for me, walking through the zoo at night is still amazing. Um, that's when the wolves are out howling, the lions are roaring, the cougars are screeching, and uh, it's unbelievable. It's just an unforgettable experience. How cool is that? You get to be kind of like in a jungle environment and hear everything around you. I would love that, and I think a lot of people out there would love that. One of the experiences you offer is a behind-the-scenes tour where you connect people with the animals here. What happens on the tour? Our behind the scenes program gives people the up close look at uh, some of our creatures. So they'll get a zookeeper educator to go with them one on one. And uh, things like you can sit in with the lemurs, spend time with a red tailed hawk, be with a kangaroo, but it's all up to the animals. The main focus and you're told right away is the safety and health and well-being of the animal. And so if the animal is willing and to come up to you and experience that with you, it's an amazing experience. But the animals here, they're around children all the time, so they're very, very easy going. Ashley, we are here with Nadine, and she is obviously very hungry, so what is the first step in feeding her today? So what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna pass you these. Okay. So you're gonna take our feeding tongs. This is gonna make sure that your hands are nice and far away from the chicken that you're gonna be feeding. And if you wanna try and scoop up that little piece there, we'll start with the easy bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you're gonna feed from the side. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So and you're gonna bring it up sideways here, right up to the feeding hole. Hi, there you go. Good job. Oh, oh, it's going in yeah, there. You got it. If that one falls down, I'll pick it up. That's okay. After being here for just a short little while, it's very clear that your staff care about these animals. As an animal care staff yourself, what is some of the most important things that you do to make sure your animals are safe and happy? 
So we try and go in above and beyond with all of our animals. It's really important to actually get to know them and understand their preferences. Just like people, they have likes and dislikes, um, you know, favorite foods or foods they dislike. And knowing their behavior, you can actually tell when their behavior is off so that way you know uh, how to take care of them better. And alongside everything that you do to care for these animals, you offer enrichment. What does enrichment actually mean? So enrichment is actually an amazing thing that uh, zoos do to actually make sure that their animals are always stimulated. In the wild, they don't have guaranteed security, guaranteed healthcare, or guaranteed nutrition. So under our care, they do. Uh, and that means that we have to make sure that we're finding other ways to stimulate natural behaviors. Whether that's getting animals to forage for their food, or uh, having new scent enrichments, or even putting in new platforms. Every single day we're trying to come up with new ways to give animals something new and stimulating to do in their environment. Something else that you offer here is the opportunity for people to learn about these animals online through virtual presentations. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we kind of have two different programs available. Uh, we have our virtual presentation that's great for groups of kids and they're able to actually see pre-recorded footage and listen to the lions roar uh, and see the tigers chuff, uh, as well as meet animals up close and live and have a Q&A session with us. Uh, the other one we do is actually a program that we do just right through our, our Facebook. We do lives once a week, just in place of our feeding tour while we don't have that program running. We just finished off an amazing day at Jungle Cat World. We hung out with some lemurs, fed a tiger, and tried to feed Tiny the tortoise. If you want to check out these experiences too, make sure to go to junglecatworld.com.